Hey YouTube, welcome back to another English review here at Thomas Opened with uh, something I have been looking forward to for quite a while now actually. Um, I've been sitting on this beer for a while and um, I kept thinking I, I, I want to do this in a bottle share, I, I want to uh, 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 invite some people over, uh, drink this beer and have fun with it because it's so unique and it, uh, every time people are over I forget about it. Not because I think it's forgettable but because there's so much beer to taste, to try, to enjoy, and at some point it just sort of, I, I, I felt after a while, every time I had people over, if I were to open this beer, uh, we already had a few, it would be underappreciated. So I decided I'm just going to have fun with it myself. It's a big bottle, it's a 75 centiliter, 8.5% uh, strong beer. Which is, is not the most outrageous ABV out there, but in 75 centiliters, you know, that, that's going to do you. So this is just it for uh, this afternoon and for this uh, evening to come, probably. Anyway, the thing is, what we have here is a beer from one of my favorite Dutch breweries, the Kromme Haring. And it's a collab with Borg, uh, Borg Brugges from, uh, from Iceland. And it's a uh, Marmendil. It's an Arctic Bretet Porter. Now... One thing that you need to know is that basically, back in ye olden days, basically all all porters were uh, were breaded. They they were they had bread in it in in some form or another. Um, beer was always stored in casks in in wood in old barrels, and it would always in 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 wood barrels it would always impart this this wild yeast. So having this sort of funky, slightly sour note to it was normal. This is what a porter was. So, a little bit of story time here. Uh, Marbendale is the result of a very fun day at the brewery with Stuli and Hilnia from Borgbrugges in Iceland. As with all our collabs, the recipe is a bit out there. This time we took a Baltic porter. That means it should be uh, lower fermented. Um, inspired base, but fermented it 100% with Brettanomyces yeast. The result is an interesting beer with a complex palette of red fruits, chocolate, dark roast, and spices, weird in a good way, just as the Marvindale itself. The half-man, half-seal creature that is set to roam Icelandic waters. Now, really, like I said, the Kroma Hatting is one of my favorite Dutch breweries. I still need to go to the brew pub at some point. Um, one, of, one of my favorite Dutch uh, barrel-aged stouts is uh, uh, a Belu Beluga, uh, an imperial stout aged on Kolila barrels. That thing was... Mind blowing. It was insane. It was fantastic. Now, ooh, slight hiss on the opening. I cannot wait to dive into this. Mm -hmm. That's pretty tasty. I really made a fool out of myself there. Wow, that's nice. Spoiler alert! I think I'm gonna like this. Jesus Christ, that must have made uh, for one of the best openings of any video I have ever done, period. Yeah, that's going to haunt me. That's going to haunt me. Anyway, back to the beer. It is uh, a lovely dark brown. This is definitely what a porter should look like. It is not this pitch black uh, affair. This is a lovely, very dark brown with this sort of mahogany wood on the bottom. You guys probably can't see that, but that looks fantastic. And the the head is frothy and thick. Big holes, small holes, bubbles, holes, big holes, big holes, big bubbles, small bubbles. It's all it's all around. This is this this is this is making me. This is making me really want to drink this beer. This looks so inviting. This looks so appetizing. I already have this this small thing going on in my mouth because of the foam. That was amazing already. I, I need to dive into this, guys. This looks fantastic. Uh, that, that foam already made me salivate. I am very much intrigued by this. Let's uh, see what she does in the nose. Now, there's this explosion of cherry almost, uh, combined with lovely dark chocolate. And there's 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 definitely a roasted component to it. And it definitely has that that porter roast, that Baltic porter touch. Um, a slight, perhaps, metallic astringency there. 
Yeah, definitely a little bit of a metallic note. Definitely astringent. Definitely coffee, by the way. Oh. And yet, it smells refreshing. I know that sounds odd, but some of those porters and some of those stouts, that first sniff you get, make that. Ba -bum -ba -bum. So, I am definitely just. <laughs> This, bit, this, this, this one's active. This one is definitely active. I am going to take a moment and grab something that I have. Laying right over there. I'm going to put that here. There we go. Lovely. This is, this is probably one of the most entertaining reviews I have done in a while. Um, I'm just loving the hell out of this. Sorry, this is fantastic. <sighs> I just did laundry, so that thing is going to have to lay around for a little bit, the cloth. Anyway, back to the beer. So yeah, it has a refreshing component, and, and now that it's breathing a little bit, that, that Brett, that funk, funk, that works so well in a porter. It works so well, because you get these... That earthy, horse blankety, farmy thing from the bread, working with those refreshing fruity notes that roast from, that roast from the, um, from the malted, uh, from the, uh, from the malted barley. It just, it just, everything comes together in such a glorious, harmonious way. This thing works. And for a lot of people out there who are still getting used to Brett, who are in uh, learning, uh, learning more about lambics, learning more about sour ales, breaded ales, the idea of combining that with porter or stout is weird to them because they finally got used to their lambics, their sours, and now they're thinking like, why does why does that have to go into this thick, sweet imperial beer? Because it works. Because it does, because those flavors work well together, and they do here. I'm going to have to see what this does. Uh, I'm going to let that thing just have fun. While you guys look at that, I'm going to see what she does in the, in the taste. Cheers. So I'm going to let you in on something. I'm very happy that I'm not sharing this. A shared beer is the best beer, but honestly, I'm kind of happy that this one's all for me. That funky dryness, <clears throat> that porter dryness. A Baltic porter has a dryness. Much more than uh, uh, modern interpretations of, of porter and uh, a lot of imperial stouts have become. It's very dry. The funkiness adds to that. The sugars, bread, just annihilate sugars. So the sweetness that you get is more that hint of sweetness from the red fruit component that is introduced by God knows what, really. I'm assuming that it comes from, by the way, before I forget, ingredients are uh, malts, of, co uh, uh, of course, a pale Munich oats, wheat, and peeled roast. The hops are Spelta Select HBC 6A2, and the yeast is WLP 650, which I'm assuming is the Brettanomyces. So um, there is no added fruit component here, of course. So the, uh, considering that it's a Brettanomyces yeast, they said it's 100% Brettanomyces. The the roast the, the fruity notes have to come from the malt here. I'm assuming, or the hops. Although these hops are not, I think, very much known for that red fruit component. But anyway, it, it's there. The long story short is the fruity, the, 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 sweet, the sweet notes you get are from that red fruit hint. Other than that, this thing is, is dry. And it's dry in the most amazing way. It... I keep forgetting to put the beer in screen. It, it's, it's chocolatey, coffee, roast funky definitely that farmhouse funk it's not on that same level as some lambics are 
It's definitely there though. You definitely have that big, funky, farmhousey, horse blankety thing going on. And I love it. And it makes you go like, ooh, with every sip. You're, you're, just when you think, ooh, this is, this is that lovely sweet chocolatey porter, suddenly that, because of the fruit component, suddenly this, this, this dryness and this funk comes in and it's sort of smashing around the face going, no, 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 I'm not that kind of porter. That's not what I am. I'm something completely different. And in a good way, for me anyway, this to me is alive. Like you can see in the bottle, it's alive. And you can taste that. This thing has life in it. This thing has attitude. But it doesn't overpower. Because of that 8.5% ABV, sure, you got to take your time with it. Because it's still 8%, 8.5%. 8 this is not uh, a chuckable beer. It's a drinkable beer, but it's not a chuckable beer. There's a difference there. And this is highly drinkable. And for the next few hours, this is definitely going to entertain me. Because every sip is an experience. And I love it. And this is for me one of the best beers that I've... January only just started. We're two weeks in. And this is already... Uh, I did not have a disappointing beer so far. I doubt you'll find this in any bottle shop in the Netherlands standing on, on standby. This is a one-time collab. This was a one-time release. This is not something that is going to be um, brewed a lot. I guess ever again, but if you do find this somewhere on a shelf, if you go into a bottle shop and you see this, this beast, take it, buy it. It's not that expensive. I think this was around a tenner. This is amazing. And if I have to give it a rating, I'm going to give it a 4.25. Maybe a four and a half. This is what I love in beer. This is what, this is what tickles my fancy and I'm really happy that as as much as I love sharing beer with people I'm really happy that I can enjoy this one by myself that's another review done and done um, if you liked it click like if you really really liked it click subscribe um, in the description box below you'll find links to the Dutch Beer Collective uh, Remy, Beer Geek Holland, Gerben, Dutch Beer Geek and myself Thomas uh, we come together there as the Dutch Beer Collective, a little group of three uh, people who enjoy beer and uh, love to chat about it, love to talk about it amongst ourselves, love to talk about it with you guys uh, in our reviews. On that website, you will be able to find uh, links to all of our social media. You will be able to find uh, all of our newest reviews all nicely bundled together. Go check it out. Go subscribe to those guys as well. And I guess I'll see you at another review soon. Cheers.